Well, I would advise all students to, to um, seek out study advice. It's probably one of the most beneficial institutions that this university provides. I've, uh, I've learnt so much um, just by coming and talking, just for half an hour, to one of the advisors. And the, the benefits of, of taking that half an hour out of your time are absolutely fantastic. It really is one of the best uh, facilities that the university provides. Can you give us some examples of that? Well, as I was a mature student, I hadn't been in education for a long time. Um, and so consequently, I knew very little about doing referencing, for example. Um, the advice that, that I received, uh, even though I, it, was, it was difficult to quite work it out at first, but with coming to study advice, they quickly showed me how to do it, and I quickly got into a, a, a routine, which has carried me right the way through the, my university years. I even uh, wanted to reference a uh, piece of work uh, quoting something from the Quran. I emailed study advice, within two seconds the reply was back and I knew exactly how the, this university wanted it referencing. Obviously when, you, when you're first confronted with these 2,000, 2,500 pieces of work it seems initially to be quite daunting. However, coming over to study advice, I was soon put in the right, on the right track, advised how to structure my work, even though as a mature student and as someone who had written before, I still didn't know exactly how the university wanted me to structure this work. And it was very, very helpful. And of course, once you've got into the habit of it, you're going to be here three years, you're going to write a lot of essays. But once you've got into the habit of it, and if you get into the habit of it early, then it is much more beneficial. Your marks, your grades and everything will go up, and your confidence. Yes. Can you tell us first all about your grades then? Well, initially I was getting fairly mediocre grades, but I would say coming and taking study advice, I pushed my marks up probably by five or ten, ten marks on every essay. You know, it was as significant as that. Yeah, yeah. What about confidence then? Confidence, obviously, con your confidence grows. The better marks you get, and the better comments you get on your essays, the better you become, because you, you know that you're doing the right thing in the right way. And it, that isn't something that you can just pluck out of the ether. You need some advice and you need some help. Especially, I would say, probably more so for, for mature students, because we are, especially if we've done any writing, we're already set in our ways. And that might not be academia. It, it's definitely true to say that, that each lecturer w requires slightly different things, even though they claim that all the marking is even. All lecturers naturally have their own little foibles, and some, some like work doing one way, and some like work doing another way. But, by and large, if you get a good, well-rounded piece of work, well-referenced, and uh, accurately referenced how the university wants it, then you won't go far wrong. And it, to be fair, it's not that difficult once you see how, you've got, how they want you to do it. Would you say you're jumping through hoops then? Sort of? Not necessarily jumping through hoops, but it, it, there, there is an, a, an academic rigour, and you've got to stick to it. And it's no good trying to book against the system. The system has been set up for perfectly reasonable reasons to make sure that your academic work is at the highest standard. Yeah. And the university wants that and study advice shows you how to do it. Critical and analytical, analytical thinking wasn't so much a problem because from the background I'd come, up, come from, being an engineer, I'd critically analysed many, many projects over the years anyway. So I, I had a basic knowledge of, of how to do it. But again, um, you... you you bring your preformed ideas from your, from your own background, and they aren't necessarily what the university actually wants you to do. But again, it's no great problem. It's it's not reinvented the wheel, and it's not rocket science. You you quickly get into the into the hang of how the university wants these things done. All universities, not just all all academic writing, is an academic skill, and it needs to be learned. It wasn't anything like as onerous as I expected it would be. Uh, the work was, was, was obviously difficult uh, and it needed researching to get, the, to get the correct answers, therefore there was a fair bit of reading involved. But I enjoy reading so again not much of a problem to me. Uh, time in university, it, it's not that, again not that onerous, you've got to attend all your classes obviously because you, you, you quickly fall out of step if you don't, but um, provided you attend uh, most of your classes, uh, most of your lectures, um, it, 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 it's it's quick. It's, you quickly assimilate to the way of university life, yeah. and it's not. It, it's, a, it's a very enjoyable experience. 
You compared to work, the workaday world? Compared to the workaday world, yeah. I mean, I would have cut, if things had been different, I would have come into academia many, many years ago. <laughs> Apart from study advice being very supportive, then generally the, the whole of the university staff are very, very supportive. I, I, I can't think of any incident, really, where when I've had a problem, I haven't quickly found whoever I need to find to sort it out. Whether it be an academic one or whether it was you know, because I couldn't come through for one reason or another. Um, what, you know, there was always somebody you could find, either in the office or your tutors or you know, some, some other department, finance or whatever. So your advice would be if you've got any problems just speak out? You should not have any serious problems here at all. I can't speak obviously for any other university but there is always somebody you can go and see here if you need to sort something out and you can usually get it sorted out very quickly. The study advice website is very good, yes, and I've used it on many occasions. I've taken, downloaded their uh, little leaflets and their little hints and tips and I found it all very useful. Uh -huh. and, and to be fair, once you see how, how academia wants things written, it becomes a habit, and it's a habit that I now use when I'm writing anything. Yeah. You know, even if I was writing a Christmas card, I think, I think about it. I think about the, um, uh, the uh, you know, whether to put an apostrophe in or whether to put, you know, to end a sentence or, or whatever, you know, I, I, whether it, uh, this article needs to have a capital letter or, or any silly little things like that. I just do it automatically now. So it's had good ripple effects? Oh, it's had wide, much wider ripple effects, yeah, yeah. yeah. And of course, you take free electives, um, and I would advise anybody, I mean, obviously, it's, it's up to the individual, but I mean, I took, um, although I'm a politics student and history student, I, I did um, history of art, uh, I did a, 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 a module on women, I mean, I found all sorts of, um, you know, interesting little free electives that um, broadened my uh, my knowledge base by miles. Things I'd never even thought about before. Yeah. Right, so any final words then to potential students? Well, all I can say to any potential students is, who view this is uh, have no fears about coming to Hull because you, you will have a good experience. I, I, I can only praise it. I have no, no genuinely doubt from the bottom of my heart I have no downside on the place.